Yeah. All right. All right. So start at the cookie factory. Right. We started up. Mace Windu. <laughs> <laughs> that first time they used Mace in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. So. It is. It is. Hi, I'm Jimmy, and in 1983, uh, George Lucas made uh, Return of the Jedi. Apparently, they made so many bear costumes, they decided, let's make some spin-offs. Uh, let's cash in on Ewoks as much as we can on TV, in live action, uh, as well as animation. Uh, and they made two movies. Uh, Return of the Jedi was 83. 84 and 85, they made two other films. Uh, Caravan of Courage, which was the first film, but we didn't watch that. We in order in honor of Warford Brimley. The late Warford Brimley. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, like, what's going on? <laughs> it was a real creep. <laughs> Derek's phone was still on. So while I was just uh, not not, youth, not euthanizing Wilford Brimley, that's not where eulogizing Wilford Brimley. Um, we did not think of coming before the eulogizing. We decided to watch Battle for Endor. <laughs> An ABC premiere presentation from the creator of the Star Wars saga. Noah, here they come! Lucasfilm journeys throughout the heavens for the mightiest combat of the galaxies. I have the power. I will give you contentor. These both were not released in th theaters, by the way. They came on ABC in the November of 84 and 85. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, at that time, Star Wars was, uh, was probably still... I don't even know if it had come out in VHS yet, so Star Wars on TV was a big deal. I remember setting up late and watching these Ewok movies uh, and getting up for school the next day. So it was a huge deal. So we watched Battle for Endor with Wilford Brimley. Um, so did we all see... You saw this as a kid. Who saw I this saw as a kid? kid. It, I mean, that literally came out when I was two days old, so I saw it, I ordered it, I rented it off Blockbuster in the early 90s. And I didn't really know what Star Wars was, honestly. I, I, I probably, I probably saw I, this before I saw, I think I did as well. well I was telling them, telling them earlier, I saw the Ewok movies before I ever saw Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Because Return of the Jedi was hard to come by in rentals. What are our thoughts about, uh... Ewoks, because of the internet, uh, in the internet age, Ewoks, we've been told Ewoks are these terrible, awful things. We're a little older, I, so I don't think we really have that. What, what is your take on Ewoks, just in general? I didn't have issues with Ewoks. I mean, a lot of questions arise when you think about Ewoks, though. I mean, are they asexual? You know, I think Wookiees are much more disturbing as far as thinking about well, they what, all the hair. Right, what but, they're... It, but an Ewok is based off of a Wookiee. That's true. The, I had to make certain changes to things because in the original screenplay, the, the Ewoks were Wookiees, and and Chewbacca really wasn't the co-pilot. I had to figure out how I was going to do Wookiees, and I basically cut them in half and called them Ewoks. But it was it was. Um, but as we approach the millennium, we can look forward to the the prequel trilogy. Definitely. Huh? Uh. <laughs> He's so in uh, Caravan of Courage, we're introduced to the Tawani family uh, who crash land on Endor, um, and I think the parents are kidnapped. So the Sindel and her brother uh, are helped by the Ewoks uh, to uh, save their parents. That would make sense. I do like I do like that these movies kind of populate Endor with some strange horses. Creatures, horses. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get into that. Look at I'll get into that a little bit later. That, that I have issues with. You can see George and Joe Johnston and Lucasfilm's love of Harryhausen, certainly. And yeah, the yeah, creatures yeah, and all the stop motion yeah, stuff. Yeah. And that was the time. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in this particular movie we watched. We watched the Battle of Endor. That's very much mid '80s. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. It pulls from all the all the things. Basically, so the movie picks up, it's uh, the, the little girl, her name's Sindel, yep. and Wicket are just kind of running around. There, it's, it's a couple shots of them running around, um, and then uh, the village, Wicket's village, is attacked by mercenaries, yeah. like, pretty instantly, and Sindel's family gets killed off. Murdered. This is yeah, a like, children's movie. Oh, yeah. Like her, massacred. So in her, the 80s, though. Yeah, yeah. 80s, yeah. Is, 80s is different. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was in her, the first five minutes of the movie, her, her family's dead. Yeah, and her brother, who was a major character in the first movie, just gets killed off. Yeah. Like, wonder how that actor felt. Instantly. He was in <laughs> He was in 55 seconds of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. The recorded yeah. amount of time. So, the then we're introduced... Movie. We're introduced to the bad guys. You got your Evil Lynn character, yep. or uh, 
The Empress. Bad Morna. Is that her name? From Willow? From Willow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like... Very it's Willow. a lot of Willow This is a lot of Willow type stuff. Even, and then the... Even Warwick. And then the bad guy is, is like Kale from... Uh, <laughs> Kale. Willow as well. <laughs> that name, Kale. That did not he, age, he, that didn't age well. He even, he even enters in screen and pulls off like a helmet. Yeah, so yeah which, is, it's like, which is hilarious. You have to see it. He's yeah. played by the guy that played Lurch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's played by Lurch. He pulls off a mask that is <laughs> it's, so great. It's very similar to his own face. Yeah, much um, so. and then pretty much right after the bad guys are introduced, then her father is gunned down. And her father's played by uh, the dude from Breakfast Club. The, the, the principal. From no, the no, principal. No. Right. And, and, and props go to Sindel for not being traumatized at all, because she just watched I got her entire her family get murdered. She's fine. And she's yeah, fine throughout she's the movie. Fine. She's just yeah. like, Wicked, you're my best friend yeah, no, yeah, she by has default. Wicked, but... um, she has Wicked, that's all she needs. Yep. She's like, Mom and brother, they're dead. Mm-hmm. Mommy, Mace, they're dead. So then, basically, they meet Teak. Next. Oh, yeah. Teak. Teak. Talk about Teak, Jimmy. Uh, I uh, I love Teak. Teak is in the Star Tours ride. He sits on the little thing and yeah, Teak does a thing. He's a happy little Muppet who has he's like, actually super speed. For the '80s, he's not in an annoying and and he looks like he would tertiary be. character. Yes, he's he, a, he looks like he would be a totally annoying. He does. He's actually a sweet little, little if he character. if he spoke, I think he yeah, would be that's annoying. what it's because yeah, because he does yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. you get yeah. something a voice, it just yeah. like takes it down. Yeah, yeah. so like, he's cute. He's he doesn't violent. speak. He's fine. He has a uh, flash powers. Mm -hmm. He can yeah. run really fast. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Teak's cool. I like him. Uh, so they take him back to. Uh, he takes them back to this hermit cabin. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they just start, they just start making there. themselves at home. Yeah, because there's nobody yeah. there. Nobody yeah, nobody there. Nobody's there. Let's Nobody's there. They start, they start yeah. cleaning it up. And then that's when we have... Uh, Seven dwarfs come in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it just feels like that. We have Wil Wilford Brindley makes Yay. his appearance. Yay. Uh, a moment, uh, a moment of silence for Wilford Brindley. It's the right thing to do. It is. Where I'm not going to play the diabetes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> diabetes. 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 So, you got diabetes. The funny thing about this movie is, yeah, like Wilford Brimley's character really softens to him quickly. Like, qu like this whole this whole, movie, this whole movie, this whole movie is on fast forward right yeah. now. He's he, he got a very Santa Claus feel to yeah. him. All, yeah, like one minute he hates him, the next minute we're playing the loot and yeah. Can we talk about any of the weird hugging that goes on during these times? <laughs> well, well that I mean, happen for so one of my notes in this is that the at the there, wicked there. wicked puppet or his the wicked mask. Just has dead eyes. Yeah, he, and he the teeth are off. He looks really weird, and it's kind of way kind off. of unnerving. Yeah. I think it's because this wicket um, talks, so yeah. the, the, the mouth, mouth is, is more articulated. Yeah. But when it doesn't do anything, like right here, it's just like his two teeth are just there, and it just doesn't. It just looks weird. Yeah, like, yeah um, well, he has weird eye. Color. And the eye color is yeah. different than yeah. 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 I feel like in the original yeah. in, in Jedi, they're more like dark colored. So yeah, they just look. So they just stick out. So he's just like. Yeah. It's really weird. The entire time. It's kind of scary. So Yeah, he's kind of weird. The yeah. the bad guy is yelling that he wants a child cuz he need, <laughs> he needs to figure out how to Oh, his whole his whole thing is he wants the power. The power, power. power of grace. I want the power. I want the power. Also Very there well. are, there are rats. So it's like this movie doesn't <laughs> this movie <laughs> doesn't Well, no, I'm just saying this movie doesn't do anything like Star Wars. It doesn't make an analog of a rat. It's just a rat. There's just straight up horses. They they couldn't <laughs> Here even, we go. They couldn't even do like a Star Trek where they like paint the horse or put, put, a, horn. put a horn on it. it. I don't it's just a, it's just a horse. You have uh, everybody riding these blurgs or whatever. Yeah. Why well, can't they just have everybody ride that. And yeah, it's just like, it's like, okay, we're just going to throw a horse in here. Yeah. Well, that's an effect, though. But they don't have... Yeah, a horse is just a horse. Yeah, they should just have a... They should have just had a horse analog. So like, I don't... I did all their... Like a tauntaun. Yeah, yeah, like a tauntaun. Just an, an analog, analog, a an analog yeah. of a horse. Or have them <laughs> teleport. Did they spend something. all their money on Wolford Brimley? 
including diabetes. 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 Um, so basically, yeah, everybody's getting chummy. They're doing their, their they're, loot. They're playing the loot. They're hugging. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. and, then, and then we get the, the evil Lynn will lure Sindel out by doing her mother's voice. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. No! She turns back to, to evil Lynn form and, and carries off. Sindel on the horse back to the castle. Back to Turok. Yeah, back to Turok. So they they show up. Uh, there's this moat that has some type of creature in it. Like, it's like yeah, yeah. It never. I, I thought it. Water. I thought at first it was the the water. The water. Because no. it was black. I was like, oh, it's right. dangerous for water. Yeah, right. right. there's something. Fog eternal And then it's, it's just there's a creature there. But that way, if you don't show the creature, you don't have to yeah. pay for that effect. Yeah, yeah. There was no yeah. show of the creature. That kind of upset me. Mm. So they, uh, so I'm, they... I'm gonna lose sleep tonight because I'm trying to figure out <laughs> what that creature that was. That ABC trying. budget. Make it up, Make it up. yeah. Um, so they, they scale the walls and they don't do it very stealthily. Like, no. Wicked, Wicked's like grunting the whole way up. Um, can, can you do this? Well, yeah. <laughs> kind of going down the list. Billy's <laughs> like, move along now. <laughs> No, no, I don't want to draw the creature so I don't lose sleep. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so, and then, uh, so they get to, they have to sneak through this room of all the guards. <laughs> and there's this one scene of Torak and he's just like not moving. So it just looks like he's asleep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was asleep, wasn't he? Yeah, he's just like. <laughs> but Wicked is the, Wicked's the face. And they they just walk through the room. They do Muppet Man. Yeah, they did a Muppet yeah. Man across yeah. the uh, you know, across the dungeon there. Don't pay attention. They, to us. they got away with it for a bit. Yeah, they did. Well, they either what was the other return? Is they either put on the like the armor? Yeah, of Aaron the guys. Walker. They dress like ladies, um, or they do Muppet Man. <laughs> yeah, is that Muppet, Muppet Man? Man. That probably the, probably the best one. Yeah, for, yeah. For the best option by far. Because they would not have made it through with with the armor. No. Are you drawing over there, Bob? Yeah, yeah, I'm drawing the creature. He's drawing the creature. Okay. Yeah, he's drawing the creature. Um, there he is. So that's the creature that lives. There's in, the, in, the, in the, water. the water. Oh, okay. That's creature in the water. It's got a very legend feel to it because it's fancy. Uh, it does. Oh, it's yeah. 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 Very, very, very horns. about that and, creature. But, but I mean, like yeah. snakeish because it scurries yeah. in the water. Mm -hmm. okay. It's kind of like so, the Dianoga. It's in the new yeah, world. Yeah, exactly. Thing. So so there he is. Does he have gills? Uh, no, no. I just wonder how he breathes. He, he does. He needs some nostrils. He doesn't need to breathe. This is indoor. Um, Things don't breathe on indoor. Teeth gets. Well, that's something I wasn't aware. Of. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they don't breathe. They just breathe. That's right. Quickly, very quickly. But not on this movie because this is like only yeah. seventy walks in the whole movie. I thought it was twelve. It's all Wicked's family. It's just that's there's it. no Ewoks to be found. No, no other Ewoks. The the big tribes that you see in the movie don't exist. But that's like yet. but. Oh, and they also oh, live on the ground in this. Yeah, so, they don't. So, yeah, they don't they don't trees. so since this is no supposed to be top. a prequel, I wonder if the events of this made them go up they, to live in the trees. But they so live they in trees in the attack. first one. I think they live in trees in the first one. Do they? In yeah. the first one, there's a lot more Ewok stuff. Yeah. Well, then maybe Wicked's family leaves, and they just made they made like a just a camp. They're trying to find a new place to new live. Place I don't know. I'm building a new I think they work on whatever they had left after the last movie. They had, the hierarchy of they the had other... seven costumes and a location. Yeah. And they shot this in two weeks. Yeah. This is what we have left. And so they get that and they're... So the Ewoks do... It's a good little battle scene. The Ewoks are doing it's Ewoks. It's fun. Ewoks yeah, they're stuff. doing Ewoky. No a man of much But Turok says, I have the power. And he asked for the girl to... Use her magic to but make it work. He also lives in. So a how does he not know what it is? When, when, uh, however, he knows it's a power source. He lives in a castle, so he's, I guess, um, you know, technology-wise, probably like Middle Ages. But they all have blaster rifles, so yeah. I don't know. But how does he know it's a power source? I don't know. It makes no sense. It really does. It is, is it a plot thing, Jimmy? What it was is. What it is? Uh, give me the secret man cup. Come on, tell me what you do, what I desire is man's red flower, so I can be like you. Jungle Book. Yeah, very like good. Mowgli, does, Mowgli doesn't know shit. 
They don't. But like no. King Louis thinks he does. Yeah, yeah. He it's so, like, he so, so it's Jumbo. Book. It's Jumbo yeah. Book. Yeah, because yeah, the little girl doesn't yeah. know anything yeah. about yeah. this power. No, she is. She's like, I don't know how to make fire. Yeah, I don't know what that. She doesn't even know how to react to her own family getting massacred. She's like six years old. So we need her to be in danger, and that's the way. That's the way we do it. Um. They're able to capture Sindel again, but uh, Wilford Brindley's character, like, duels uh, Turok. Tur- no, Turok, yeah, yeah, Turok. Yeah. yeah. Um, with a big stick thing, right? Yeah, with a stick. Uh, yeah, it was just a, and yeah. Turok has this big sword. sword. Yeah. That looks really That was big. the shortest fight, though. It was pretty short. I mean, Wilford Brindley. Yeah, he's not, he doesn't have, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not versed in fighting. He's and his stamina is probably not. 49 year, oh my god. 49 <laughs> year old. He was a 49 year old man at the time, so. Yeah, he was like 49 when he was in Cocoon. Yeah. Which is, which is wild. Wild. Which is crazy. Wild. And, by the way, fun Wilford Brimley fact in this movie, all of his scenes were not directed by the actual directors of the film. They were directed by Joe Johnston, who is the set designer, because Wilford Brimley did not get along with the two directors. Uh, Teak, Teak ends up staying on Endor, but... Which I didn't get that. It's like they, Noah leave. It's like they traded, like, Brimley traded out Teak for Lawrence, Sindel. Well, maybe Sindel. Teak had a whole family of Teaks and, somewhere on Endor. But I don't I mean, think he's from Endor. But, so I, I mean, this, I this little girl just lost her entire reasonable. family, think, and now she's leaving her best friend as well. You think Teak's well. from Endor? Yeah. I think so, because so. uh, uh, Wilford Brimley and and friend yeah. crashed there many years ago. Right. They probably just yeah. found this creature that lived yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Friends. But but after years of watching other Star Wars things, it's like you can always go back to that planet. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mandalorian went back to like a planet exactly twice it, in know, one season. Exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't. The ending doesn't quite work. Is it? I'm sure it was a kid. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> my god, some don't work because the ending was about to come up. It's got a very et. Yeah. Anybody want to talk about Wicked looking up and down? Some of the words you left. It was weird. No, I don't stand by this. I don't stand by this at all. Like, I I love Wicked. I know I can cut the pictures of him looking creepy. And there's that one part where where it looks like he's... He's, his hand is doing something. What's that word I used earlier? Uh, grooming. 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 It looks like Wicked maybe doing screaming. But I'm not... I don't... No, I don't want to play that. Play that off. Well, his eyes are dead. Yeah, his eyes are dead. Yeah, her eyes are just dead, too, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> My soul is dead. Yeah. Man. Um... No, I mean, that, that's the movie. That's the movie. That's the movie. Yeah. That was it goes great. really fast. It's, um, it, well, at po- times it's slowed down. It's pretty me. straightforward. Yeah, it's an hour and um, a half of, you know, good old fun. It's it's actually, it's not bad. I didn't think no, it was I was kind of, I was kind of worried that this would, re-watching it as an adult would, would kind of ruin my I was, my memory of it. I was afraid I'd be bored <laughs> by it, honestly. I was afraid this was going to ruin <laughs> Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, here's something. Um, in Rise of Skywalker, uh, Wicket is there, mm-hmm. and he has with him a child. So they Ooh. do. They do. Do they? I mean, I mean you could. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you meant <met> Ewok. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think would get? You thought he <laughs> was Kendall, didn't you? <laughs> I, I have the words. Oh, yeah. By the way, the Ewok language was based on Tibetan language. Yeah. From Tibet, yeah. But here are some of the words. A yeeha is goodbye. Yubnub is hooray. Akha, all right. Gunda is good or yummy. Feech is dang. Lurdo is loser. Piety is come. What? Kush, <laughs> Kush is who slash what? It's what Wicked said to Sindel. Whoa, that's the ending. Saul, you got diabetes. <laughs>